Okay, let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro. And the first thing I'll do is drag and drop this video clip onto the timeline. I downloaded this video clip from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. I just want to do a little bit of color work on here quickly. It looks a bit washed out. So let's just go ahead and click on the Windows, Workspace, All Panels, and then you can access Lumetri Color. Let's click on that and let's just grab this handle to make it a bit bigger. And then we want to bump up the saturation. So you can grayscale it, but we want to bump up the saturation and get more color into here. The exposure, I'm going to increase it slightly. And then the contrast, I want to bring that uh, forwards to give more contrast between the black and whites. The highlights will increase them slightly. The shadows, uh, we're going to bring that down. I want it to be more darker in the background. The lights, we're going to increase them slightly. And then the blacks, we can bring them right down to something like this. Let's click on this video clip. Let's just press Control C or Command C on the Mac to copy it. Click here, press Control V or Command V on the Mac to paste it. Now we've got these two video clips going to increase the duration slightly. Let's drag and snap them together. Make sure your little snapping tool is enabled here. Click on this video clip, right click on it, go to speed and duration and set it to reverse. And now we've got a longer track and it will reverse in uh, sequence at the back here, right? Let's just go and click on effects here because we want to work in the effects and I'm going to drag and drop this audio track onto the timeline. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. I'm going to press the letter C to cut the audio. I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to go into press the letter V, select this first part and delete it and then drag this across the timeline and then I'm going to press the letter C to cut it and we'll cut it at the end here and then press V, select this end part of the audio. So we're going to select this end part, press the delete key to delete that as well. Now we want to fade this audio in and out. So we're going to go to the audio effects here. In fact, we're going to go to audio transition and select exponential fade, drag one to the beginning and then drag the same one to the end here as well. Let's just quickly do one more thing. Let's go to video transitions here and underneath the dissolve options, cross dissolve, I'm gonna drag that to the beginning as well. And I'm going to drag that one to the end as well. Now, if we zoom in, we've got this exponential fade. We can grab the handle and just make sure that you zoom in. When you're quite far out, it's hard to grab the handle at the end. So you wanna zoom quite in a little bit, right? And you can see the timeline. So imagine we wanna fade it in by around five seconds. We want four volume so let's grab that handle drag it across two five seconds and then at the end we're going to fade it out so the audio will start to fade out towards the end but we're going to drag it so it fades out over a longer duration now we should get a nice fade in and fade out on the audio and also on the video clip let's go back and press the play button and here you can see it fading in and here you can see the uv meter is gradually growing and now you can see here the full volume Now you can hear the audio fading out because we added the exponential fade at the end. So that's how you go about adding uh, a fade in at the beginning and a fade in at the end of your audio content inside Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. Let's save this work, minimize it. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.